So I'm working on one of our NoTech aquariums when I get a message from a viewer who saw our last video on AI and aquariums. This viewer was wondering if AI could actually generate an image of an aquascaped aquarium. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Bishop Aquatics. Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the world of AI generated art by exploring a cutting edge technique called stable diffusion. We'll be testing whether AI can create stunning images of aquascaped aquariums using this advanced approach. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more exciting content. Before we jump into the technical details, let me introduce you to Stable Diffusion. It's a revolutionary AI technique that produces high quality images by iteratively refining them using complex algorithms. And today, we're combining this technique with our love for aquascaping. See if AI can create underwater landscapes that truly captivate. Stable diffusion works by gradually refining an image, enhancing its quality, and introducing intricate details. This approach allows us to create vivid and realistic images that look like they were captured in a real world environment. Let's take a look at how you can run stable diffusion to generate aquascaped aquarium art. Here's a simple code snippet that outlines the process. Don't worry if you're not a coding expert, I'll break it down step by step. Without getting in too much detail, because we are at the end of the day here for aquariums, we essentially have a set of keywords that act as things we want to see and a set of keywords that act as a thing we don't want to see. So in our keywords we want to see, we're going to put keywords like aquarium and maybe a description of the aquascape. In our negative keywords, we're going to put things like uh, cartoon, drawing, poor quality. Now, other than that, it's basically a set of controls for fine tuning things like how many images you want and how much freedom you want to give the AI away from your prompt. Like I said, we're not going to get into much detail about that. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, if you thought you could see how this would be interesting until now, you're probably correct. But what if I said we could take it a step further? We can, and we will. There's something called image to image AI as well. Now, what we've been using up until now, both in ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion, is text to text and text to image. So we gave ChatGPT text, it gave us back text. We gave Stable Diffusion text, it gave us back an image. Now we're going to give Stable Diffusion an image and ask it to give us back one. So we have our image to image configured and ready to go for Stable Diffusion. You can see right there, that is our picture we actually took a couple days ago. You might recognize it from our tank we just aquascaped in the previous video. Now this is the raw photo, so it says that no editing, no cropping, nothing done to it. And we are going to use this as our base for the AI to create something similar off of, and then something with a little bit more freedom. Wow, let's see what it can do when we really let it loose. The collaboration between AI and aquascaping opens up a world of possibilities. While AI can assist in generating breathtaking images, it's important to remember that the true artistry of aquascaping comes from the human touch and creativity. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the realm of AI-generated aquascaped aquarium art using stable diffusion. 
If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who are curious about the convergence of technology and art. Subscribe to Bishop Aquatics for more exciting explorations in the world of AI and creativity. Until next time, keep creating and innovating.